Hello, this is Sonia, and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. In 2013, I made a lemon orange bread loaf with yeast. But today, I have found my recipe, and I said to myself that I would like to make a lemon orange loaf cake with a few extra ingredients. So get out your bowls, mixer, and a bread loaf pan. Now let's bake up this beautiful orange lemon treat together. All right, so we'll be right back. So stay tuned and we'll see you in a moment after the break. Welcome back. Thank you for subscribing, liking, clicking that bell, and sharing so you won't miss out. If you have questions, go to our YouTube homepage and check the About section for details. For our merch store, click on the Store tab. You will find products for women, for men, kids, and babies. Accessories, stickers, and the list is growing. Also, the ingredients and directions for this recipe will be in the description below. All right, so let's do this. All right, so to make our loaf cake, we start out with some butter, and this is room temperature butter. And I cut it into tablespoons so it'll mix faster. And then this is part sucralose, part regular granulated white sugar. We'll get that in there. And then we're going to take, and we're going to mix, so I'll be quiet while we do this. Okay. Next, we're going to add one egg at a time. I have three here, and they're medium. If you have large, just two. All right. That loud. Over. Oh. Oh. Came out. All right, now the beaters set aside and now we have one orange. This is all the zest off of one orange. So in it goes. Now, if you don't like that orangey, just use a tablespoon. I'm really making orange. <laughs> we'll just get that stirred up in there. Okay. Yeah, butter. Now, we are get this out our way so I won't keep looking over there thinking I'm forgetting. Now it is time to start putting in. Now in this flour bowl is three cups of flour and then I have my salt, baking powder, baking soda, and I have, I measured out three cups of all-purpose flour. That's three cups. I sifted it and then I remeasured it. Once I did that, then I took out six tablespoons of flour and added six tablespoons of cornstarch. And what did we make? We made cake flour. So I'm mix, mixing it all together right now right into the flour. Leavening salt and cornstarch with the flour. And we're going to use three of those. And we need to do, oops, I like to still measure and spoon measure my flour because we're looking for the most 
fluffiest cake here. Now, there is a bread out there. Probably you could find if you don't like a cake with it. And up, but then you would switch the bread, bread flour and possibly you could rise it with yeast. So, but this is just a quick type. All right, so one cup goes in here and I'm just going to take, I think I'll leave that alone. <laughs> I always get everything mixed in there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start getting this together. And when you see that it starts to get too thick to stir, stop. Now in this bowl, I have lemon yogurt and I have soaked a half cup of raisins and it has lemon juice and orange juice. So all of that plus canned milk. You can use just regular whole milk. I also added with the raisins some of the orange itself. So that will be in there. Real fruity type. And if you like, omit the fruit and raisins and uh, just go for the nice cakey loaf. All right, so that's mixed in. Now it makes it sort of more like a buttermilk because of the acid with the milk. It thickened it up some. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And that's moisture. So, and I know this is all mixed thoroughly, so if I don't need all of it, I won't worry about leaving any of the salt or cornstarch or bacon powder soda behind because it's all mixed in. So, let's just slide that off of there. And I'm just going to put that entire cup in. This is our second cup. And I don't want to put in more than three cups. So I think I'm just going to, on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some of this. Now, if it's too thick, we'll just, I'll grab some more milk and we'll add it. Let's see what we get first. So, as you make a recipe or read a recipe and make, when you're baking, sometimes you have to alter. So, the recipe is a guide, but as you cook and bake, you'll get used to consistencies. So, the rest of that liquid and I'll measure, let's see what we get on this flour. Okay, so it looks, it looks pretty good, but we'll just take that off because we want it as light as we can. All right, so I'm going to put in that third cup. And yep, we're going to have to add, and I would think I don't want to add egg because I'll make it thicker. So I am going to, and I think it'll be all right to not add room temperature or cold. So I'm going to see, that feels in my mind about a third cup. So let's check that out. And we'll put in just a little, mm, I'm starting to taste this stuff, <laughs> licking my lips. That orange and lemon is really <laughs> making me have to <laughs> lick my lips here. Okay, 
So with a bread loaf or a cake loaf, you don't want it too runny like a pancake mix. So I'm just going to keep adding until I feel comfortable with this. But I don't want to like uh, beat it real hard when that happens and you just get a tougher product. So I'm going to take all that milk that I asked for and okay, yeah, just kind of let it soak up in there. Now I'll grab, let me get this out of the way. So, back to what we're doing. I have a prepared bread pan that I want to make my cake into a shape of a loaf. So, let's see how much this will fill. And that would be good too. So we'll see if I can get a full. So I hope you guys are enjoying these recipes as much as I love yours. Uh, makes me hungry when I watch you guys cook. I don't know why I, I like uh, baking so much. I'm one of those people that opens up a cookbook if there's any crumbs in the picture, <laughs> I'll want to try to grab them and, you know, that's why I was when I was a kid. I was trying to get the crumbs off the page. <laughs> and I must have not grown up because I still want to do it. Okay, so yes, it's going to take it all. And of course, it's going to, it has a little bit of uh, the baking soda and the baking powder. So it will rise with the eggs and everything also. Winding it up. My oven is at 350. I have another bread pan full of hot water. It's going to steam. And I'm going to put this in here. I will check it at 45 minutes and it could take up to an hour. So we'll be back when that's, and I'll have this cooling, and then we'll be back. I'm gonna have a little bit of a glaze and we'll glaze it together. See you in a little bit. All right, well, welcome back. The bread is out of the oven. I cooled it for 10 minutes in the pan. Then I took it out of the pan and cooled it for 10 minutes more, and then, on a rack and then I brought it over here and then I sliced up some and here's my piece now it turned out a little bit firmer than I wanted it to but that's okay I guess it's not a cake <laughs> I'll work on that one like I said I pulled it out thinking oh I'm gonna make this into a cake by using cake flour instead of bread flour and it's just gonna be so soft didn't work but it's still going to be the one that I made originally. So, it's still going to be good. Now, I, let's see, let's just get a little spoon here. And all this, this is just a glaze, and it's just lemon juice and powdered sugar. So, I'm not going to put it on here. I'll just put it on my little taste test area because I want to freeze this. And if I don't want to get all the sugar all over in the freezer. So I'll just go ahead. And so you would be actually frosting the top, you know, just drizzling it over the top. And I would do this just before serving your guests. Now if you're just eating it, like Christopher and I are just eating it by ourselves, then. Uh, we could frost it or we don't frost it. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Now it's time for take a bite. And I'll tell you, is yours cool? Did you make it? So let's eat together. So yeah, it's a little firmer, but that's okay. Still sweet. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So
So it's what I was chewing, a lot of that crispy edge. But in this, oh, my fork takes off with it. But it is fluffier right here. Now let's see how long it takes to chew this. Hmm. Much faster <laughs> to get where it's supposed to go. All right, well, it's very delicious. Now you don't have to put the raisins in it and you don't have to put the extra little zest. But let me tell you, I added that yogurt, uh, a lemon yogurt. I added that plus, plus the lemon extract, the orange extract, real orange juice, real lemon juice, and it is really, really citrusy and good. Not overpowering, it just tastes just what you put in it. Uh, nice and crispy on the edges if you like that. I bet you this would be great if you toasted it. So anyway, there you have it. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. And I just want to thank every one of you um, for watching and supporting our channel. So I, I see the subscriptions are coming in. I love it. A lot of likes, a lot of sharing, and clicking that bell. Yes, it will help us get more videos out to you, including recipes. So, you can also find us at our website for what we put here. It goes right directly to the website at redcardinalkitchen.com. So, for every step of the way, happy eating and God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Have a great day.